Good morning. It's literally not even morning, it's 11.50 right now, which I just woke up about like 30 minutes ago, but that doesn't matter. Kind of woke up and you know, decided I was hungry. So I really wanna do a cook with me video and today is the perfect day to do so because I'm hungry. We gonna make some lunch. And you see, the problem is we just got back from vacation, so there's literally like nothing in the house because we had to like throw away everything that like went bad while we were on vacation. So, might be a bit of a challenge to try and find something that I can actually eat. So, I know it's literally 12, but I am still like so sluggish. So, I'm gonna make myself some coffee. Keurig. I literally don't even know how to turn this thing on. What the frick? Oh, I actually lied. I don't know how to work a coffee machine, apparently. We're gonna skip the coffee step and just go straight for the real deal, which is food. <laughs> I literally learned how to make macaroni when I was like eight years old or something like I'm a pro at this point But I actually haven't made this in a while and mac and cheese just slaps like nothing else slaps like Mac and cheese is just like a go-to like, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your craft mac and cheese just like so much better So yeah, let's make some macaroni and cheese together so first thing that you do is add six cups of water now I don't know who actually like sits there and measures out six cups of water to make mac and cheese No, I always put hot water in my pan like whenever you need like to boil water or something But does it like boil faster if it's already hot or is it like should it boil faster if it's already cold? Boil water for seven minutes. Literally, I don't have seven minutes just to waste. I'm cheating. Literally, it's a cup of mac and cheese personalized to you. It is the best thing in the freaking world. So all you have to do is fill it up to the water line and put it in the freaking microwave. You don't even have to use a stove. You don't have to use a stove. Don't have to burn yourself on the stove. You just don't have to use a stove at all. God knows how long that this freaking stuff has been sitting on the shelf. Like this is so like old and like crusty and nasty and it's just like powdered, like powdered cheese. Cheese should not be powdered. Usually I put hot sauce in my mac and cheese. Hot sauce in your mac and cheese is literally heaven. But we do not have hot sauce. To make your mac and cheese just like level up by like 10, just add freaking shredded cheese into your cheese Gordon Ramsay will literally be calling you overnight to come work at his restaurant and make food because it's so freaking good. Like, it's done. Now look at this. Like, there's like the stringiness. Oh my gosh. Like, can it get any freaking better? Probably. This lighting literally makes me look like a freaking grease ball. So... Ow, that's freaking hot. The cheese will make you constipated, but that's like besides the point. I used to like take cheese, put it in a bowl, melt it, and just like eat the cheese, which kind of like is disgusting looking back on it, but like it was really good. Like cheese, just melted cheese by itself is so slap. So good. <laughs> So, make yourself some mac and cheese, sit down, have a great freaking day, and that's all.